Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the link state routing algorithm. Now onwards, we will discuss about the routing routing algorithms. So first, we discuss about the link state routing algorithm. This algorithm, also known as a Dijkstra algorithm, because it compute the least cost path from one node, means source node, to the all other node in a network. It is a iterative, and after kth least cost path are known to kth destination node. It means it it means it use iterative procedure, and least cost path from any of node means one node to the others node. So here we need to remember few of the notation. The first notation is C X and Y. It is a link cost from node x to y equals to infinity if not direct any neighbors. Second is d of v means current value of cost of path from source to destination is v. Next is p of v means predecessor node ahead of current node along with the path from source to the v. Next is n des means the set of the node whose least cost path, which is known. So let us understand the what the Jekstra algorithm works. In this algorithm, first we initialize, then the set of the node. For all node, we find out the value, which is if it is adjacent to the u means if it is adjacent means neighbor, then. Follow these steps. Otherwise, it is directly to the neighbor. This is the actual algorithm. Here, this is the equation in which the routing node follow the adjacent node. Now, let us discuss how this algorithm work. See, for the example one, this is the actual network and the network along with the path and value. So now, step zero. Starting from the first node, so the which node means router or host is known in this routing path. So the step zero u here the p of v means predecessor node and d of v means the current node. So for the u node to the x node, see in this table the u node to the v node means the value is 7 so 7 through u u node to the w node so u node to w node the value is 3 u 3 comma u u node to x node so u to x the value is 5 u node to y u node to y so there is no direct path it is via x path so right now we have mentioned infinitive symbol because x is still not known because many of the way see this is first way this is second way this is third way so still it is not defined any path so we defined infinitive in second steps among of this value we decide which value is least cost it is main aim of this algorithm. So least cost value is 3. Now the next node which is known is W. So U and W is known node. U and W. Now in next steps the reach UV to V. U, UW to V. Then the value is here 7 but u w and v then 3 plus 3 total 6 so least value is 6 rather than 7 so 6 comma w here u w to x then u w then x so 3 plus 4 total 7 and here is so the choosing path is this 5 c u w to y so u w and y so total is 8 plus 3 
here 5 and 7 total 12 but x is still not known so we have only one path 3 and 8 total 11 so 11 and w w is our current node and z still this path and this part is not known so infinitive sign now in next step before going to next step the least cost value is 5 so x so u w and then x these three node are now known u w and x so in next steps u w x to the v here the v value is 7 but this value this root value is 6 3 plus 3 so 6 w next <clears throat> w itself then no x itself now u w x to the y u w x to the y so here 5 plus 7 total 12 here 3 plus 8 total 11 here 3 plus 4 plus 7 total 14 so list value is 8 plus 3 11 so we choose 11 through this node means w now for the z u w and x through the z so this first path this is the second path this is third path and many other path so here we use the value 14 x means 5 and 9 total 14 this path value is list cost value so we choose 14 comma x and among of this value the list value is 6 so we known to v node u w x and v now in next steps u is known v is known w is known x is known now the y u w x y to the y u w x v to the y so list value to reach y is n through v to reach y we have choose the algorithm choose u to w 3 w to v plus 3 and v to y plus 4 so total 3 plus 3 plus 4 total 10 through v for the z the value is 14 x so through x so 14 is u to x then z so chosen path is 5 plus 9 total 14 in that the least cost value is 10 here now knowing node is y so u w x v and y now the last node list cost 12 y means here 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 total we have used 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 equivalent 12 this is list cost value and now z is known so u w x v y and z all node are known so root are decided and it is established using this algorithm see